Generative Fill is extremely powerful. Ever since this AI tool has been released, the world kind of changed. Now, if you're new to Photoshop, it might be hard to figure out how to use it. But you can stop worrying right now, because today you'll learn three easy effects everyone can create with Generative Fill. Number one, a simple set extension. This is where you take an image and make it bigger by artificially extending it. To do that, open up your picture in Adobe Photoshop. Then make sure in the layer panel that your image is selected. Hit Ctrl plus T on your keyboard to show the transform tools. Now you can rescale and reposition your image. This time we're gonna scale the image down like this. Now we're gonna fill up these edges using generative fill. To do that, go to the toolbar and grab the rectangular marquee tool. Then in your canvas, make a selection around your picture, but make sure to leave a small gap. Photoshop is gonna use this information to generate the edges. Now hit Ctrl plus Shift plus I on your keyboard. This will invert your selection so that only the white part together with the edge is selected. Now go to the generated fill bar, click on it and you don't need to type anything for now. Just click on generate and let it do its thing. Wow, as you can see, the picture is now a lot bigger. Oh, and Photoshop always provides three versions of a generated image so that you can choose the best one. There you go. Now let's get to generated fill effect number two. Removing people and objects from your image. Imagine you have this beautiful drone shot, but these stupid people are in your frame. Now, good thing we have Photoshop. In the toolbar, find the polygonal lasso tool. Then click and hold it until this menu appears. Choose the normal lasso tool. Now in your canvas, draw a selection around one person. Then hold down shift and create more selections around the other people. Next, go to the generated fill bar and again, click on generate. There you go. You now have a clean drone image. And here we are guys, effect number three. This is another set extension, but this time we're gonna add objects instead of removing them. Again, go to the toolbar and grab the lasso tool. Now let's say we want a beautiful campfire. Then simply draw a selection wherever you want on this picture. Now go to the generated fill bar and type in add campfire or something similar. And there you go. Choose the best version of the campfire and voila. Now let's generate a castle in the background. Again with the lasso tool, draw a selection where you want the castle to be. Then go to the generated fill again and type in castle. Click on generate and look at that. That looks amazing. So now you want to export your image correctly and to learn everything about that, click the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, stay creative.